Have you ever wondered what's behind a bullet? That small, seemingly simple metal object is actually the result of a surprisingly complex and precise industrial process. From enormous brass coils to a projectile ready to be fired, every stage of its manufacture requires high-tech machinery, rigorous quality controls, and perfect coordination between engineering and chemistry. Today we'll discover, step by step, how bullets are made in a modern factory and what secrets their production process hides. To understand why each phase of ammunition manufacturing requires such a high level of precision, it's first necessary to consider how a bullet works at the moment it's fired. When a cartridge is chambered in a weapon and the shooter pulls the trigger, an extremely rapid and coordinated process is set in motion. The weapon's internal mechanism causes the firing pin to forcefully strike the primer, a tiny component located at the base of the cartridge case. This contact is no coincidence. The primer is composed of impact-sensitive chemicals that, upon impact, generate an initial spark. This spark ignites the gunpowder contained within the cartridge case. The combustion of this material releases, in a fraction of a second, a large amount of hot gases at extremely high pressure. The energy accumulates in a small space and, with no other outlet, propels the projectile forward. The projectile then leaves the cartridge case and travels down the barrel of the weapon with astonishing acceleration. In just moments, it reaches speeds that can easily exceed 1,000 km per hour, which is equivalent to travelling almost the length of a football field in the time it takes us to blink. Although this entire phenomenon occurs in less than a second, its effectiveness depends entirely on the precision with which each part of the bullet was designed and manufactured. The casing that withstands the pressure, the primer that ignites the gunpowder, the precisely measured gunpowder itself, and the projectile, whose shape and weight determine the final trajectory. The manufacture of a bullet begins with a very particular material, brass, an alloy of copper and zinc. This metal was not chosen at random. Brass combines hardness and malleability, making it ideal for producing cases capable of withstanding the high internal pressures of a shot without breaking or deforming. It is also resistant to corrosion, crucial for bullets to be stored for long periods without losing reliability. Since the 19th century, brass has become the standard of the arms industry, and to this day it remains irreplaceable in most cases. At the factories, brass arrives in the form of enormous coils that can be several meters long and weigh hundreds of kilos. These coils are placed on uncoiling machines, which precisely feed the subsequent production stages. It is important to maintain constant tension during this uncoiling. If the material stretches unevenly, defects could appear that compromise the strength of future cartridge cases. Circular discs called blanks are cut from the brass coil. Each of these will be transformed into a cartridge case. There is no margin for error here. The diameter of each disc is measured with tolerances of micrometers, i.e. one millionth of a meter. A minimal variation could mean that the projectile will not fit properly or that the firing pressure will not be distributed properly. The excess material from this cutting is not wasted. It is collected and recycled to be melted down again, completing a recycling cycle that minimizes waste. After cutting, the discs undergo a chemical wash that removes traces of oil, dust or metal particles. They are then carefully dried, ready for the forming stage. With the discs prepared, one of the most impactful moments of the process arrives, turning them into cylindrical cases. This is achieved with drawing presses that push the metal through moulds. The procedure is carried out in several stages to prevent the brass from breaking. At each stage, the cylinder is lengthened a little further and its walls are refined until they acquire the exact dimensions required by the bullet design. During this process, the mouth and neck of the case also begin to be shaped, which are the parts where the projectile will later be inserted. But drawing alone is not enough. The material is subjected to internal stresses that could make it brittle. Therefore, the cases undergo a heat treatment known as annealing. In this phase, the brass is heated to approximately 650 degrees Celsius and slowly cooled. This cycle of heat and cooling restores the metal's ductility, preventing it from cracking with use. With the general shape complete, work begins on the most delicate part, the base of the socket. There, a precise pocket is drilled into which the primer, the component responsible for initiating the combustion of the gunpowder, will be placed. The diameter and depth must be exact for uniform ignition with each shot. 
In addition, a tiny communication hole is opened that connects the primer to the gunpowder charge. This hole must be perfectly aligned and have identical dimensions in all parts to ensure reliability. In parallel, the rim of the case is shaped, which is the area where the gun extractor grips to remove the empty cartridge case after firing. All this work is monitored by automatic systems using lasers and high-resolution cameras. If a case does not meet these measurements, it is immediately discarded. Meanwhile, the projectile is produced in another section of the factory. The most common material is lead because it is dense, heavy and relatively soft, making it easy to shape. In some cases, especially in ammunition for military or advanced sports use, copper or steel alloys are used. The lead is melted and molded into the initial bullet shape by extrusion. It is then calibrated and polished to achieve a smooth surface and perfect aerodynamics. Many bullets have a metal jacket covering the lead core. This layer, usually copper, reduces barrel wear, improves penetration and prevents the lead from being exposed. Once the case and bullet are ready, the most delicate part arrives. The assembly of the complete bullet. First, a metering machine deposits a precise amount of gunpowder into each case. Precision is critical. Too little and the bullet will lose power. Too much and an accident could occur due to overpressure. The primer is then placed in its pocket and the bullet is inserted into the mouth of the case. To ensure it is perfectly secured, crimping is performed, which consists of folding the edge of the case around the bullet, forming a hermetic seal. This ensures that the bullet does not disassemble and that all the pressure generated during firing is concentrated on propelling the bullet forward. Once the bullet has been assembled, far from being considered ready, it must still pass one of the most rigorous phases of the entire process, inspection and quality control. This stage is crucial because it ensures that each cartridge meets the safety and performance standards demanded by the industry. It's not enough for the bullet to look good. It must be functional, accurate and reliable under real-life conditions. The review begins with the control of exact dimensions, the total length of the cartridge, the diameter of the case, the shape of the projectile and the depth of the crimp are measured. Everything is done with high-precision equipment, capable of working with tolerances down to one hundredth of a millimetre. This means that an error practically imperceptible to the human eye can be enough to render a part out of specification. Another key aspect is weight. Each bullet is placed on highly sensitive digital scales that detect even a difference of a few milligrams. A cartridge that is too light could indicate a lack of gunpowder or defects in the projectile, a heavier one, on the other hand, could mean excess material or an irregular charge. Any of these cases would alter ballistic performance and compromise safety. A detailed visual inspection is also performed. Although much of this work is automated with high-speed cameras and laser systems, specialized operators continue to play an important role. These inspections identify defects such as cracks in the casing, deformations in the case, dents in the surface, or irregularities in the bullet seal. Modern inspection machines can scan hundreds of bullets per minute, recording images and parameters that are then automatically compared with reference values. If a single measurement is out of range, that bullet is immediately separated. In practice, any cartridge that does not meet the established requirements is automatically discarded without exception. In addition to physical tests, some factories perform firing tests on selected batches. These tests verify the actual performance of the ammunition, muzzle velocity, on-target accuracy, recoil, and shot-to-shot -shot consistency. These data confirm that production is maintaining the expected level before it is sent to market. Once each bullet has successfully passed the strictest quality controls, the final stage of its journey through the factory begins – packaging, storage, and, finally, distribution. Although it may seem like a simple process, this phase is just as important as the previous ones as it ensures the ammunition arrives in perfect condition at its destination. Packaging is done in boxes specially designed to withstand shock, vibration and exposure to moisture. These boxes can be made of reinforced cardboard with protective coatings or even plastic and metal materials, depending on the type of ammunition and its final use. Furthermore, in many cases, they include internal separators that keep each cartridge in place, preventing them from rubbing against each other during transport. The goal is to ensure that the projectile and case retain their physical and chemical properties intact. Once packaged, the ammunition is carefully labelled. Each box bears detailed information about the calibre, bullet type, production batch number, and sometimes the exact date of manufacture. 
This data allows any batch to be tracked in case additional control or subsequent inspection is required, thus ensuring complete product traceability. After packaging, the boxes are moved to specialized warehouses, where they are stored under strictly controlled conditions. These warehouses typically have climate control systems to maintain a stable temperature and humidity, which prevents gunpowder degradation or metal oxidation. Furthermore, they are designed with high levels of security, restricted access, constant surveillance and fire and explosion prevention protocols. At first glance, a bullet may seem like an ordinary, even insignificant object, just a cylindrical piece of metal. However, the reality is very different. Behind each cartridge is a highly precise industrial engineering process involving different branches of science and technology. What begins as a simple sheet of brass ends up transformed into a part ready to function with complete reliability under extreme conditions. Dozens of transformation stages are involved in this process, from the cutting of the metal discs to drawing, heat treatment, casing creation, primer preparation, gunpowder loading, projectile insertion and final assembly. Each of these phases is executed with the help of advanced machinery, designed to work with micrometer tolerances, where a minuscule error can mean the difference between an accurate shot and a potentially dangerous misfire. Furthermore, it's not just about producing bullets in large quantities. Each unit undergoes rigorous quality controls that include optical inspections, weight verifications, dimensional checks, and endurance tests. The goal is to ensure that the final product is safe, reliable, and meets the standards required by the civilian or military market. In this way, every shot we observe, whether at a sports shooting range, in a security forces training exercise, or even in an armed conflict, is much more than the simple action of a projectile moving at high speed. It is, in truth, the culmination of a complex work of design, engineering, materials science and industrial control that hides behind an object as small as it is decisive.